What's up, chat? What's up to all y'all YouTube viewerships out there, man? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 67, 67 weeks in a row talking about the MCS, man, talking about everything involved in it. Like I said, man, if you want to be part of the show, all you got to do is hit the sub, man. If you're on YouTube, hit the like button, comment below on your opinions because you can always be held on YouTube, heard on YouTube for sure. But like I said, you guys hit the sub. You are just as big a part of the show as I am. I appreciate all you guys coming by, man. It means a lot. And uh, today, I, obviously, last week we talked to Noah. You know, it was great hearing from Noah. It was great to uh, hear his thoughts and thought process on winning the belt, you know. So for me, uh, after that chat, I'll tell you this. Um, the Madden world has kind of shifted its focus to uh, the last chance qualifier, to Madden Bowl, to salary cap, to everything. I mean, so for me, um, that's pretty much what I, we have all been thinking about. I know if you guys have played. If you haven't played, you should be hopping on salary cap rank now. There's plenty of people that stream it. You can help you know, build your team by watching them and seeing what they do with their team. Uh, so that's the best way for you guys to get involved. The best way for you guys to go ahead with the... Uh, you know, becoming a better man player is playing better people. Not mud head to head, not regular head to head, not draft champions anymore, not your buddy down the street, but hopping on the leaderboards and uh, becoming a gold on the leaderboards. Hopefully, becoming elite on the leaderboards and, and really getting your rank up there and playing the best of the best. It's going to make you better, even if you can't qualify. I believe it is top 48. Top 48 in the side camp leaderboard will get into the bracket, and uh, if. What I was gonna say, if uh, if you can't make it there, you'll still become a better man player. That's pretty much, um, th pretty much what made me a better man player. What made everybody a man player is just reps against the best, and that's what the leaderboards are. And I'll be honest, we really the way the format is, there's really not that many leaderboards left. The LCQ is pretty much the biggest one left, uh, and it's it's rough that it is, but it's still uh, viable. And can definitely uh, get you guys better. So you should be playing this, man. If you're in the competitive man at all, if you want to try to get better, or if you you know think you have what it takes, you should definitely be on the salary cap ranked right now, man. So yeah, this is the only leaderboard left. The only way for you guys to get into the money, you know. So I don't know what that noise that just popped off was. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, this is the only leaderboard left. Uh, and, and and since the man world has kind of. We know we were on DC for the longest, and since the man world has kind of moved on the salary cap, it opens our eyes to what this new cap was. Now, EA actually had a poll on Twitter on what we want the cap to be, uh, and the, we, we all voted for the highest cap possible. Um, we voted for the highest cap possible because, I mean, at the end of the day, I still think it is the best option, the best version of salary cap. Um, and for me, uh, once I... So that is the best version of Sire Cabinet. And, and to my surprise, what EA did was EA listened. They listened. We have the highest possible salary cap. The salary cap right now is $13.25. Um, uh, I want to say that's the highest it's ever been. I don't know if it's ever been this high. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, $13.25 is high. And, and with that, we what we initially thought was this would be the best way to contain the... Uh, contain the runners contain the people with no quarterbacks uh no quarterbacks would be uh, one of the downsides uh playing salary cap if the cap was high enough to contain these running backs and for me uh it's definitely uh definitely not the case it's kind of it's having that much cap just made you the ability to put tons of these guys with no quarterbacks put tons of abilities on defense and um, really geek up their defenses. So it's really hard to score, man. Shout out to Chris there with the sub, man. I uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. My man Chris is part of the show right now. He's going to get popping. We can talk about uh, talk about a bunch of different things, talk about a bunch of topics. Like I said, if you guys have never watched these shows, all of these are in my past videos on YouTube. If you're a sub, you can watch them past on the channel as well. Tuesday nights we do these lives. But for real, yeah, the, uh, the cap... Make giving them that much cap just I mean now they have three pass rush abilities, you know, and they, they don't need a quarterback. Me, I have a quarterback that's three hundred cap and they don't have a quarterback at all. So for that, uh it's it's um I I guess it's helped them and I don't know how much of it is just the gameplay 
and it, there's nothing we can do to help this. And what made me think about that, uh, mom, what made me think about that was pretty much, uh, what would the gameplay be like? What would LCQ be like? Or for anything, what would Madden Bowl be like if it was unlimited mutt? That's my question. Like, what do you guys think the game would be like on unlimited mutt? Do you think it would still be eye tight, eye form wing, and strong close, and eye close? And would it still be that, or do you think people would be passing because they can put, they can have good offensive linemen, they can still have a good defense, and they still have all the wide receivers they want? I don't know if it, I don't know if what the gameplay would be like. And that's why I say, like, at the end of the day, Chad, um, is weekend league still running? That's my question to you guys, because that's what Weekend League is. Weekend League isn't the top competition. That's what I'm saying. That like Weekend League is not the top 20 competition, or, but it's still competition. And I feel like uh, I don't think the run is that dominant on Weekend League. You know, I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's a more balanced field. Now, I will tell you, I couldn't stop Wildcat on, <laughs> on Weekend League. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, of course, people are going to do what they want to do. But for me, at the end of the day, what's going to be most effective? For me, it's like, the, for me, the biggest thing with sidecap is a passer's lineup versus a runner's lineup is just, it's like, it's so beneficial for the runner. Because to be a passer, you need to allocate 600 plus cap for your offense. And th that turns around and makes it a little bit harder to stop the run when you have a bunch of shitters on your defense and vice versa because you want to pass the ball and the runner doesn't have any cap on offense he has superstars on defense you know whereas weekend league everybody pretty much gets what they want you know so that, that's that's pretty much what i think nah brader i i don't think there should be a limit on caps i don't think there should be you need a a quarterback. I, I don't like that. Because salary cap is about building the team you, the way you want it, man. You know? You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the, the skill gaps in salary cap is having a great team and building your team properly to your to what you want on the field. You know? I don't, th I don't think they need to... I don't think it needs to be... You can only spend 500 cap on offense, 500 cap on defense. I don't think it's that, that big a deal. I do think this... Hear me on this chat. I think running backs should be 200 cap. You know, I, I think if you want the 99 speed Bo Jackson, I'm paying 300 cap for a quarterback. Why is a running back not 200 cap? And I think a running back being 200 cap would be a great idea to kind of fix the, uh, kind of scale the, uh, whatchamacallit, scale the gameplay pretty much help passers a little bit. Because, Honestly, I don't, I, I, you guys know me. I've been like the biggest, I hate runners and I still hate runners. I think they're scumbags, but, um, I've grown to be able to watch runners. If that makes sense. I've been, I've grown to, I've grown to be able to really, uh, watch it and, and enjoy it to the most part. Not, I don't say enjoy it. Uh, I, I can watch it and see the game being played. I can see the game. I can see uh, the skill in running, the skill in knowing what plays to run. I've been, I've, this year has taught me a lot when it comes to that. So, for me, uh, do you guys really think it would look better if there, if like you know, is this gameplay that much more boring than years in the past? Do you think? Because as a Madden fan, I, I I watch it pretty much no matter what it is, you know, and, and I've learned to kind of enjoy both ways. Obviously not as much for me, but uh, do you guys think the gameplay is that bad? Because viewership on Twitch is a million times higher than it's ever been for any man that I've ever been associated with. And, you know, so for me, uh, for me, um, I don't know if the gameplay is that bad viewership wise, man. So I don't know. I mean, the the average viewer, I feel like they complain about everything. You know, I feel like there's no, <laughs> what do they want? The biggest thing with um 
with salary cap is you're kind of forced into one offense because, you know, you don't want to have – if you're a runner, you don't want to have three wide receivers. So if you're a runner, if you if you build your team to be a runner, I mean, you don't have a cap really to go ahead and boom, let's go pop in five wide. You really don't have that. So it's kind of – it kind of restricts – salary cap restricts a player to just running one formation pretty much. So one formation or at least one personnel group, you know. I've never seen so many pro players call it quits. Which pro player has quit? Because I feel I feel like there's more. I feel like there's more and more and more every year. I don't know what play, pro player you think quit. My man Skeeno, man. With the six months. Appreciate it. No, I really... Honestly, this is how I feel. This is how I feel about... Uh, this is how I feel about I tight. Um, part of me, uh, I tight, I tight is tough. One thing that makes me mad about I tight, right? You can just motion and snap the ball whenever the hell you want. Just da 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 ding da ding. If I go to a passing formation, I motion somebody. Everybody else on my line has to move. I have to wait for this guy to get from point A to point B to snap the ball. That's that, that for me. If they fix that, if they made eye tight to where you can't snap the ball till he goes all the way to the other side, man, it'd be huge. I feel like that would be an amazing, an amazing adjustment to the game. I really think that I really think that would because it wouldn't kill the run, right? It wouldn't kill the run. Because you can still run strong close, you can still run I I uh, close, you can still run all the running plays that you that these runners run. You can run them all, but if you just if you just got rid of the motion snap or just to be able to snap this ball whenever the hell you want, and the defense can't do shit about it. If you made it so if I if I'm an eye tight, I flip or I motion this one wide receiver, I have to wait, just like my dumbass has to sit here and wait when I do it in a passing formation. If I'm in a passing formation, I can't snap the ball instantly. I have to wait for Tom, Dick, and Harry to get on a line of scrimmage to make me able to snap the ball. Yeah, and then for me, yes, I feel like I feel like stopping the motion from being super tough, would it wouldn't kill the run. No, it would... It wouldn't, it wouldn't kill the run. People could still run all the glitchy runs in the game, but uh, it would definitely help. It wouldn't be you. I I truly believe you couldn't have a whole offense without a quarterback. Yeah, Kenny. I mean, I see. I feel that way, but at the same time, I don't feel like you can close your eyes and close your eyes and run eye tight. I still do think you need eyes. I still do think you need a brain. And this whole year, this whole year has made me kind of see that. I mean, I don't see it all the way, but I definitely, uh, it definitely has a point, man. But I do think if they fix the motion, I honestly feel like if they fix the motion, I don't think they need to do anything to the salary cap. If they just fix the motion on run plays, man, I, I think it would help the game so much. You know? No, I, I, I don't think you can be ass as a runner. Zeke, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Glad you guys are joining the show. This is the Needed Podcast, episode 67, man. I'm sick, kicking it with y'all. Just, just shooting around ideas. How can we make SC a little bit better? I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's the... Uh, I don't think it's... I don't think it's insavable, is maybe the word I'm looking for. I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. Pursuit's not going to get fixed. They're not going to fix Pursuit in February uh, when a new Madden is around the corner. That's never going to happen. Uh, Wesley, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I think pass rush ability should be higher. Maybe that. I don't know. No, they could fix... No, they could fix... No, a 30-second play. 
Yeah, 30 second play clock. I mean, we we have said 30 second play clock all year. I feel like I've been preaching that since the first show. You know, I I I don't they're not going to fix that. Yeah. Kings, I I feel like that would be a great thing that would help balance the game, but they're not they I don't think they're really going to do that, honestly. How do you think the motion uh, fix the motion to where yo they they do it in doubles you can't snap the ball there's so many passing formations where if you motion you can't snap but not running formations they let these fuckers snap the ball instantly whenever the hell they want no please stop no y'all bro nobody ever complained about a time when it was five minutes and thirty second play nobody complained about it. Nobody, not even the Reddit guys. The Reddit guys loved it. But now all of a sudden we want to change it. We want to change it. Yeah. Bro, it, listen, for real. Yeah, we can't change the game. I feel like, but kid, this is the thing. I feel like you could change... The motion, I feel like you could change that. I feel like that can't be that big a hard, harder pat, harder patch to make it so I can't snap the ball whenever the hell I motion this guy over. You know, because there's ways to like there's ways to stop this run, there's ways to stop that one. But the good runners just know I'm gonna snap the ball this way, I'm gonna snap the ball that way. I think they could patch. I really think um. I think they could patch the motioning in running plays. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to make it a wish list. All we're talking about is salary cap right now. That's all. Like, how can we make this better for the next month, two months of Madden? You know, how can we make this a little bit better? What would make the gameplay better? Why not? I mean, but I, I don't think it's that. I don't think just patching the motion shit is that big a deal. You know what I'm saying. Can someone please explain to me why Madden keeps running as the meta? Madden doesn't control. Madden doesn't really control what the meta is. I mean, people find that out. No, I'm just talking about. Kid, I'm just talking about I tight. That's all. Like why? Like bro, like. I, bro, you y'all know passers know. There's formations where you motion the dude over, and like I said, Tom, Dick, and Harry want to reset their feet, and I can't snap the ball. Boom! Why can't you just put the same thing for eye tight, for real, or or strong wing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I think that would be a decent way to not kill the run game, but not, you know, make it uh, make it or uh, not or to kind of even the game out a little bit. No, I don't need no 40-second fucking play clock. But I don't, I don't see why not. Why why wouldn't they do it? It's just dumb as shit. If, you really, if someone really showed them, like, how many little, how many different things somebody can do to manipulate man coverage just by motion in one receiver, in a formation where there's one fucking receiver, you can manipulate every player on the field to do dumb shit? You know? Like, how, how do they not, like, how can you not, like, The stamina glitch. What is the stamina glitch? Yeah, the 30 seconds not happening, bro. That's dead. They would still do that shit with 30 second play clock, bro. Don't think don't think if it's a 30 second play clock, they're not gonna motion and all that. Red to blue. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what stamina glitch. What's the stamina glitch? Fly that in. I need to have that for Vic. Because Vic runs Vic runs around the field every play. I need that. Yeah, fly that in. I don't know what that is. I learn something new every day here on the new podcast, bro. We learn the stamina glitch. Red to blue. I mean, scrolling formations. I Honestly, I feel like if you just sit in the huddle. Oh, my God. Yo, did y'all just bring... Yo, bro. That's a glitch? All that is is let's wait in the huddle and catch our breath. That's a glitch? Bro, I can't with the I, yo. I really, I really want to just, I really want to hide my stream and get the fucking casuals out of here. Cause this, that's a glitch. 
What? Bro, it's literally sitting, it is sitting in the huddle. That's all it is. Like, you're not calling right to the huddle, bro. If the tight RG, what do we, if the I tight RC motion to the flex spot? Ah, uh, RG, I would think so. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that would be, I feel like that, I, I don't know. It probably would open up some other little f glitch flip on a man, but I, I think it would help immensely. I don't know. I, 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 this is how this is how how kind of I kind of feel about like why do I need to motion my receiver in eye tight anyway? No, nah, not really, G. We just talking about and then we talked about cap. We can talk about caps. Running back should be two hundred cap. You know. No, but like this was like why do I have to motion my like why why do I have to motion my my wide receiver anyway? Like literally, give me a reason, check. Give me a reason. As an offensive player, we all play bad. Why do I motion my wide receiver not tight? Talk to me. That's all I want to ask. Why? Other than to, you know what I'm saying, pop. Other than to glitch some shit. Yeah, make Vic 100 cap total, man. To glitch him, that's all. That's all. Now let's talk about what passing ability. That's what I said. Which passing abilities could be lowered? I mean, I think, I don't know. Cause let's relax here. Because now, now what we're doing here is we might fuck around. Volt might fuck around and have escape artists. Let's relax here. Let's take a deep breath. All right, chat. If we're gonna lower the passing abilities, man, this might give him the Volt, and Volt's gonna have this goon ass offense, and then he's gonna be able to sneak escape artists in there. Oh, little man, everybody complained about Bunch. Everybody complains about Bunch. Everybody complained about Bunch for four years. I I don't mind a running game. That's just... I can't lie, man. I love my friend User, right, chat? Now, I don't know if User's watching, but I want to keep this between me and you guys. User is fucking awful. Like, bro, he don't know what he's doing. He don't know how to put people in zones. He don't know what player to use or he don't know what play is coming. He don't know anything. But he he would pop me right now. Seven out of ten, I lose the user. One million percent. One million percent. And 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 part of that I question myself. You know, I say maybe I suck. But then he popped Clef. He popped this shit out of Clef. And I, and I watched him play Clef and I said, God damn, this is rough, bro. Now, user one's great. Bro, he don't know how to put guys in zones. It's insane. Watching him play defense is like, what are you doing? I mean, ultimately, if you have a running offense, what does a running offense cost cap wise? 300 cap total? You got 35 cap old linemen. You got like seven 35 cap old linemen, right? And then you got 100, uh, 80 cap running back. Chris Johnson, 66 cap. Escape, escape, escape the whole game. The whole year, escape has been the ability to run. That is it. And people said it's overpowered. Bro, Clev, if you would have watched the game, if you would have watched him play defense... Like, user will come out and cover three, literally click on every player to put them in the exact same cover three zone that they were already in. Like, he, it's insane. Yo, if Escape Artist is open, yo, just put somebody in a spy, somebody with fucking eyes and feet. If you put somebody with eyes and feet in, in a spy, Escape Artist is dead. Y'all want to put 10 caps in spies, and blitz 80 cap dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's part of the point, Reem. That's part because their offense costs a little more. So I think if we if we say we cut 
say we cut the passing ability 25%. Right, so say, say we cut the passing the passing ability twenty five percent. I think running backs should be higher, bro. I think running backs should be higher. I think that would help shit a lot too. I think Bo Jackson should be two hundred cap. That's what I think. You know, like people that buy Bo Jackson, that's their offense. If they put Bo Jackson on the team, that's their offense, right? Nobody's just putting nobody's just putting Bo Jackson on the field. Contain. Contains actually work very good until they're on a running back. Then they don't work good anymore. Gee, I mean, honestly, I I almost feel like some of those abilities, those in the zone abilities, the, the X factors, or I don't know what they're called, the bazoo, like, bro, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which one of those is really super tough, chat? Obviously, double me is cool. Moss, and we're not telling Moss should never be in the game. But which one of those abilities are super tough that I, I honestly think those should be super low cap so people might try to use them, you know? I really do. I think that would be a cool aspect to the Madden Bowl. Like, say we're in a Madden Bowl to Final 16 and somebody pays 10 cap for double me. Not 40 cap. Nobody's going to do that. But if you pay 10 cap, man, maybe I'll pay 10 cap for double me. Right, chat? I mean, I think it would be pretty cool. Freight train, win, no, freight train 100. No, but even that, even freight train. Right? Seriously. All right, yeah, the, the pass rush from ones are kind of wild. But let's think about, like, what if we put a freight train for for 10 cap, right? First of all, if your butt naked running back got, what is it, like five 20-yard runs? I mean, you're probably already getting pounded. Really? No, honestly, I feel like, I feel like those abilities should definitely be, uh, those abilities should be lowered. That would be cool. Yeah, RJ, I wouldn't be mad at it, man. Cause then just to really just to uh really just to put those abilities on the players in, in LCQ and in the man bowl, that'd be cool to watch. You know, cause let's be real, let's think about it, chat. In all the tournaments, uh whether it's clubs or regs, how 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 often do we see those people get into those abilities? I remember Clef got it versus Joke, he got double me, that's it was popping. Think about it. When did we see obviously people probably had Zeke glowing. Zeke was probably glowing in the classic. Little man, what do you think should happen, bro? What do you think, man? I respect your opinion. Earth to Elmos, that is little man, the loud, annoying guy that does what Joke tells him and, and has been good at man. Top 10 man player ever. Yeah, well, I guess I guess nobody had I guess nobody had um those abilities in the clubs. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't think none of, I really don't think I guess we haven't really seen I really haven't seen those abilities at all in the game. Yeah, Zeke, I feel like Zeke was going for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I feel like seeing that would be cool. And it would, I, I honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to those. And which one, that's what I'm saying. Which one of those abilities is too high powered that it would be like, oh, you can't have that for five cap? And for, unstoppable Force, I, look, listen. Maybe the defensive one. I think pass rushing in total, and we talk about if pass rushing abilities in general, those should be higher. Let me tell you, everything that helps a runner should be higher. Running back should be higher. 95 overall offensive linemen should be higher. <laughs> what else? Um, pass rushing abilities should definitely be higher. And, pat, you know, that's all. Because let's be honest, chat. I don't think it's that hard. I don't think it's that e no, not that hard. I don't think it's that easy to pass, bro. It really isn't. Even even if you took out defensive abilities, I don't think because these 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 man players are on all over the field, I don't think it's that easy to pass. I really don't. And uh so I think if if you got rid of pass rushing abilities or made them higher, if someone wants wants a what is it? Pass rush elite in the middle of the D-line, make that 150 cap. I guess it's pretty close to it, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The pass rush chems are definitely crazy. Yeah, kid, I think that would help. But for me, honestly, I feel like if if they just made eye tight, just not be able to glitch man coverage so much. Yeah.
that's that's not fair to us balanced players that want to run and pass. Abilities are cool, man. Abilities, and I said this the other day to myself, man. Regardless whether you think the game is good or the game is ass or the game is trash or you love it, the game is fun. Like for real. Like the game is fun. I, I I'm having fun playing it. I mean, I feel like we are all playing the shit out of it. It's fun. That's all. And, you, and is it possible for the game to suck and it still be fun? It might be possible. I don't think it sucks, but. Runners teams are way better. And I just said, kid, before you got here, the matchup of a passer, the matchup of a passer versus a runner, right? That's like, it's just, it's just like, because one, a run, a, a passer's defense is already kind of ass because they got to spend 800 cap on offense, right? So their defense is already going to be a little shitty. So the runner is going to be able to run better, right? And then when the passer go ahead and pass, he's playing against 900 cap on defense. So a runner versus a passer is just an incredible disadvantage for the passer, you know? Yeah, it's dumb. It really is. I, I think it's... it's. And But I really think... I I don't know. Running backs, 200 cap. Pass rushing abilities lower. And the passing abilities could be lower. That'd be cool. All right, Moss is really not a part. Yo, Moss is really not a part of uh, Real Madden. Susie Sloan, that's not real Madden, bro. We're, we're, we're here to talk. We talk about real Madden in the, in the podcast. No, but Brady, this, this is the problem, JB, is that juiced up Bo. Bo doesn't need any chems to be juiced up. Vic needs all the chems in the world to got to be boosted up, honestly. Yeah, but Moss isn't real. Nobody uses that. That's for kids, man. I don't even use it in Mutt because it's just a waste. Like, if you still use that in Mutt, like, you're lost, really. Patch hitches. Bro, y'all, y'all getting crazy right now. Like, I heard bring down Hot Route Master. Hot Route Master, bro. Chad getting crazy, man. Chad is getting crazy today. We complained about hitches. We complained about high route master. It's getting rough, man. Patch hitches. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Clutch, I don't think so. I only lose to the runners. Clutch, I only I can't beat the runners. I can't beat the runners. I can't beat those dudes, bro. Yeah, only shitty passers use. <laughs> That's what's crazy. Except Ghost. Ghost is probably the only one that's a good passer that uses High Route Master. Hell yeah, kid. Imagine that. When has Side Cap ever been like, that's a good point. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I saw Mahomes. Yo, I saw Mahomes the other day. Yo, some kid had Mahomes out. Yo, no. Mahomes is the best. F Yo, if you see Mahomes in the top three, oh my God, there's nothing better. Yeah, wow, okay. We need to come together. Honestly, chat. Yo, we need to come together. Look, look, it's 400 people in here, bro. We got to come together and find a super bag for Wildcat. I don't know if it's three deep run commit. I don't know if it's run commit. I don't know if it's pump block. Seriously, we need to come together and have the bag for Wildcat. Seriously. Okay, sit so that that you don't. This is why motherfuckers don't say. And this was a. And here comes here comes everybody out the woodwork. Oh, big nickel. Ah, oh, run three four solid. Oh, oh, punt safe. Like here we go. 
No, y'all getting crazy. Everybody said they got the bag. To, you know what I'm saying? Here we come. I'm telling you, they're going to come out of nowhere. And someone's going to say Big Nickel. I promise you someone's going to say Big Nickel. It's guaranteed. I'll whisper when you play it. Sensational, thank you. I fucking appreciate it, bro. I hope you're here every single game I play for the next month and a half. For when I play Wildcat, you're here to whisper me. I can't fucking wait for the time I'm playing Madden. And I say, wow, I hope Sensational is here to whisper me a bag for Wildcat. Instead of just saying it right the fuck now for everybody so we never have to deal with that shitty ass offense ever again. God damn, bro. Like, what? I can't wait, bro. I'm going to be blowing your, your your whispers up if I play that ever again. Like, just insane. That's what they that's what they be telling me, kid. I just I just know I'm going to feel like the biggest dickhead when I try field goal block and it's seven points. Nickel normal. Yes, exactly. Everybody says random shit. Bro, like, fucking wildcat, bro. Facts. I, we can't stop. Bro. Take Wildcat out the game, bro. Take that shit out the game. Let's be real here. Like, who who would be mad? Yay or nay, Wildcat out the game tomorrow. We never got played again. Yay or nay? Who would who is for it? Who is against it? Yay. I'm I'm a yay. Take that shit out the game. Yay. Tell you, where's our GA? Look at all these yays. I don't think nobody's gonna say nay, nay. You know who's gonna say nay? Wildcat, bro. All right, listen. Right, we can take Taysom Hill out. We can take Taysom Hill out the package. We can take that out too. Yay! I, I'm telling you, nobody, nobody likes that shit for real. Like seriously, nobody likes. It. It's not fun. Hickety hickety ha ha ha. It's like, put Wildcat in like Philly Special is in the game. Or that dumbass new Chiefs play that's in the game. That's how wild Shakat should be. It shouldn't be good. Like, it shouldn't be good. Make him, like, walk slow or something, bro. Like, come on, man. How, how is people, there's people on offense just Wildcat. How is that even, a, like, how can you look at the game and be like, this is, what? 10 cap for fast break, RG. 10 cap. 10 cap. Bro, human joystick. I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Human joystick, is, I think it's the best ability in the game, really. All right, Clef. Re-fucking-lax, bro. All right, time Clef out. You done for the night, my G. You done for the night. You done. You done for 10 minutes, Clef. Think about your decisions in the chat. Think about your decisions in the chat saying wild shit. Like, bro, what the fuck? Niner Niner, what's up, bro? Oh, yeah, it's like, more. that's going to be dirty. When they get, no, when they give human joystick to, like, a running back, who y'all think would be the first running? Maybe Gale Sayers? Ultimate legend Gale Sayers, bro? Fast break should be a ton of cap. I'm I'm over y'all. I'm I'm over. The, I'm swear to God, y'all want to get banned. Y'all want to get banned. Let's get rid of everything but eye tight. Let's do that. Fuck it. Everything's out but eye tight. Everything. Yeah. Why not take the ability to audible out of that? Like what the fuck? No, Clef, wait in ten minutes. So so my so Michael Vick's ability to snap the ball and run should cost money. Yes, yeah, get rid of everything we can't stop, bro. How much agility do you need, man? How much ability? No, we not freeing Clef, bro. I don't care if y'all. I don't care if y'all sign a petition. I don't care if y'all donate five hundred dollars. He don't get signed. He don't get freed. It doesn't happen. And take eye tight out. I I'm ready for Michael Vick to get the shit. I'm ready. To, listen, when Michael Vick gets it, 
I'm I'm getting rid of roaming dead eye. We are going to be we're gonna have a five hundred cap quarterback. Taysom Hill ruined the game. Yeah, I'm definitely ruined it. Yo, let's just honestly, let's just I don't know. What do y'all like, bro? What do y'all like about Madden? Let's do this chat. Let's change the vibe because we're talking about how many how much shit we're taking out. What do you guys like about the game? Let's go there. You know, I really enjoy the player movement. I really enjoy the ability I have to really try to protect my quarterback, different slide protections and double teams and IDs I can do. I really like that. Uh, not everybody likes passing. Everybody hated passing when it was the only thing people did. The mutt content is awesome. I enjoy different route combinations. I enjoy trying to manipulate zones. I enjoy, you know, running with the football. You know? I don't really listen to the zone track. A quick adjustment feature has always been good. Wait. Yeah. Team building. Love team building. That's definitely fun, man. Come on, man. Balkan with the sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. We went over 1,200 subs last night, man. I appreciate y'all. Enjoy the grind. It's fun, man. So about this year? Is that the clutch? You're right about that, bro. There's a huge variety in offenses right now. This is the most. This is the most vast offensive choices have been in the MCS. In the MCS era, period. Am I wrong? Like this really is, bro. Seriously, as much as the run is tough, you can use a lot of schemes, right? Niners, shut up, bro. Now you got crazy. Now this is this is the first comment I've read from Niner, and it says. These contained blitzes are worse than nanos. Like, you are nuts to say that shit. Everybody has a new offense. Seriously, as much as we complained about, uh, you know, everybody running the same offenses the last couple of years, I, I really think this is the most va vastly different offenses have been in Madden. Really, period. You know, contain blitz is worse than nanos. I just get tired as hell from just talking nonstop. Every offense is a gimmick. Okay. 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 No, D, so you got to get over the 146 shit. Yo, the 146 shit was really like the first two months of Madden, bro. Like, 146, bro. Like, listen. 146 is good, but it's, if y'all if y'all, if, if y'all can't pass just because of 146, bro, you, you, one, you haven't been paying attention to shit. Two, you haven't bought any ebooks or any information out there on the internet. Three, you damn sure didn't watch any MCS all year because you saw some of the best players play against 146 and what they do, honestly. Niner, you need some defense for that. I, honestly, I've been worried that the blast is not it. I like the blast, but I've been worried that it's really not that good anymore. I've been thinking about it. I, I don't think it's that overpowered, honestly. No, 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 James. Nobody would be good if there's foreign forces out there. As a passer, you wouldn't be good if there's foreign forces out there either. What the hell? That that's the enforcers stop every offense. I don't understand it. Like, why do y'all think enforcers only pertain to running backs? Man, Kep got hit with the thirty day. I didn't know that.
No. Abilities are popping, bro. A sports fan, my guy with the four month sub. Thank you. No, abilities are good. Abilities are good. God's light. I, you, I mean, you should be. You should be. You should win an LCQ then. I mean, RG, you gotta get busy with the fat fellows. You know what I'm saying? Saved audibles would be fucking awesome, G. I, I mean, that's like just, that's not remotely a concern for the show, but he just brought that up, bro. Seriously, saved audibles. Oh my god, please. No, abilities are a W. Man, I, honestly, man, 20s. As a whole, man, 20s. As When you bring in the content, when you bring in the gameplay, obviously the content is better than the gameplay. Gameplay, is, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not good, right? As a whole so far, I think man got to be a W, right? Like, let's let's stop complaining for, for, for five seconds. Madden 20, definitely, I, I feel like it's a W so far. That's how I feel. I think it is. Yeah, yo, bro. Save the audibles. We should definitely get it done. Yeah. And honestly, that's what I'm saying. And and, and is, there, is there a possibility for the game to suck and still be a shit ton of fun? Is there a possibility for that? Because that's kind of... I don't want to say that's how I'm feeling, but I'm just asking, is that a possibility? You know? Cause it's fun to me. It is. All right, Niner. All right, Niner, bro, Niner. You taking ten minutes, Niner? Niner, you take you taking ten minutes. You taking ten minutes, bro? Everybody got sometimes. Sometimes people just get too crazy, bro. Seriously. Yeah, February is popping, but Madden is popping, man, and I'm, I appreciate y'all. Man, Madden is definitely popping. I really do wish, I really do wish we could see what the gameplay would be if it was unlimited. But do you guys really think it would be still running? Would be the best offense? I don't know, bro. Clef is not getting freed, bro. He got crazy. He needed a timeout. Facts, bro. Facts. Ladder anxiety. What does that mean? Cause he said, Canes. I'll see now he got now he came in here acting crazy. Canes, he said, let's take out the ability to audible from Taysom Hill. <laughs> Alright. Clap, I want an apology, bro. Are we, are we done? We done for another 10 minutes. We done for another 10 minutes. No. I don't know what ladder anxiety uh, means. I, I don't know what ladder anxiety means. Bro, they do that shit. I'm done. I'm, I'm going to be an Apex player. Get ready for Twitch Rivals, man. Now it's Wildcat, bro. Bro, they do that shit. No, I'm telling you. Bro. Why do y'all get the shits? Why do y'all get well, y'all get worried about that? Like, bro, it's a video game. I feel like, bro, I feel like there's no fucking pressure on y'all that play off stream. I feel like if you have pressure playing when nobody's watching you you are a pussy god damn just go get a desk job and live the next 60 years of your life being a pussy nobody is fucking watching you play it doesn't matter if you get beat 60 to 0 nobody knows who gingerbread man 13 is on the leaderboards seriously honest i'm gonna you like like bro rap I 
that's why I be thinking like, yo, y'all with creep names. All these guys with creep names, like, fuck it. We go out here, we can lab, we can try shit. If I go out here, lab some shit, go for a fourth down, right? I go for a dumbass fourth down instead of kicking a field goal. I look to my right, here's the chat, airing me out. W, you're a fucking idiot. You suck. You're so washed. Ha, ha, ha. Do you even compete anymore? Ha, ha, ha. You're Nick Foles. Ha, ha, ha. I shit. That's what happens. Yeah. But y'all worried about... Like, bro, listen. One of the biggest... Bro, one of the biggest things... Now, I, I don't think I had... I don't think I ever had ladder anxiety. Right? I never had anything like that. I never wanted to lose money. Right? So I never wanted to gamble. I never wanted to go to different... Spend 500 bucks to go to a tournament and compete. I never wanted to do that. Because when I wasn't super rich, when I was your age, like, you know, 16 to 24, I didn't have a lot of money to go spend on a man tournament. So I never really went, bro, like, seriously. But one thing I learned, and I'll tell you guys, bro, these guys aren't that fucking good. They're really not. Clef and Kiv and Canes and, yo, these dudes aren't fucking good. Yo, y'all can compete with anybody, especially on this game. And I'll tell y'all that from the bottom of my heart, seriously. Y'all really can, like, for real. Like, y'all can compete with anybody. And y'all have to believe that. Don't be afraid of a ladder game that nobody's watching. You know what I'm saying? I seen... Yo, once I saw Clef, you lose the user. Y'all gotta watch user. Yo, go watch my man user play. And when y'all watch him play, if y'all think y'all can't do what one great user does, God, this this little Madden shit is not for y'all. I'm gonna be real. If y'all think he doing something special, huh, Lord Jesus. I'm not super rich. I'm a grown up, so I can go to a. I can like go to a. Uh, I can travel to a, a tournament. That's all. User popped his shit. Can't see open clef. Yo, clef went on a rant on Twitter. That's how bad it was, bro. I never. Yo, one of my biggest things is I never want to lose a game and be so heated that I have to go on a rant. Oh my! I want to be able to let that go. Like, all right, fuck it, for real. That's how I feel. Like, I never want somebody to get... Clef, Clef would he, he went on a rant in all caps, too. He went on an all caps rant. Like, bro, what? Like, for real. Yeah, exactly. He went, yo, he went on a rant, bro. I was like, oh, I never want to lose. And I've been wanting to go on rants. I be wanting to go on rants. Yo, when I played LCQ for like 14 hours of a day and I went 10 and 10 and I was 9 and 1 versus passers and 0 and 10 versus fucking runners, I wanted to go on a rant. But you know what I said to myself? I'm not going to let these bazookas get to me. You can't. Yo, listen. Let me tell you something. You can't let them see you sweat. That's the number one thing, bro. Like, seriously, man. Yo, listen. You can't let them see you sweat. That's, yo, a rule in life. And that's how I feel about trolls in the chat. That's how I feel about everybody. You can't let somebody see you sweat. So even if you're pissed and you want to cuss at everybody, bro, you can't let them see you sweat. The only thing I get mad about the chat, Tweeds, that's my guy, Ben Murphy. He's some ass, though, but no, you can't get no tweets off. I'm telling you, you can't let them see you sweat. Because, listen, as a man player, right, I can't lie. When I when I pop somebody and they be mad, I be happy. Right, chat? Chat, tell me when you pop somebody. Tell them when you pop somebody and they be mad at you. You be happy. You be happy. You be sick. Chat. You be you be like ha ha ha. Seriously, chat. Agreed or disagree? You be you be happy. Or if you tell a joke about somebody and they be mad, seriously. No, if you say you're bust say say you're roasting somebody, right? And you realize now they mad and they salty. Oh, you're happy. Oh, you won. That your joke hurt, right? That I'm telling you, you can't let nobody see you sweat. And it's hard for everybody to do that. Like, cause sometimes you be pissed. A lot of times you be pissed. It's tough for me. But Will, when you tell a joke, when you busting somebody ass in a video game, when you busting them at, say you playing ball, like in real life, and you busting somebody ass and they getting mad, oh my God. It's time to higgity higgity ha 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 ha. Bro, because I be seeing my friends, honestly, like, I be, Clef, you're fake bald. 
Like seriously, you're fake bald. Yo, there's one thing. It's one thing to be bald and be a man about it, but it's another thing. You know what I'm saying? It's another thing to be fake bald and still running from it. You running from the bald. Imagine running from the bald. Hold, bro, Clef holding on to that motherfucker like, boy. <laughs> he, boy, Clef from the cliff with it. Two hands. Clef is from the cliff with it with two hands holding on to that shit, boy. <laughs> His one hand slipping. He might be a one hand boy holding on. Holy shit. I had, bro, I had a link. Bro, I held on a little bit. I was like, I had, well, I held on, I had like my chest over the wall. I ain't hold on like this, but I had my chest over the wall, you know what I'm saying? I might have had my knee up, I might have had my knee up on the wall too. I was up there. But as soon as I felt, bro, as soon as I felt, you know I mean, I was about to fall, I said, I'm cool. <laughs> I said, I'm cool. I ain't hold on that hard. Nah, yeah, I, I was holding on, but I, I, I ain't one hand, I ain't one hand with one pinky hold on to that bitch. I ain't hold on that crazy. That was a clef hold on, it was nuts. Nah, but man, I really, I, man, it's popping, man. I appreciate y'all coming through the podcast, man. Nah, I, I, I had a firm because I wasn't hanging off that crazy clef. I had a firm grip. I had a firm grip on the wall. I was still gripping the wall, but it. it but it wasn't no crazy ass I'm about to fall off. You know what I'm saying? You're doing this. Your shit fell off. But it's cool, man. I understand the struggle. Because you still like 22. I was like 32. And I was like 31. I made another 10 years. I, 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 got, man, I had 10 years on you. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. Oh, yeah, but Clef, that's why I ain't go out in them days. I ain't go swimming. Fuck, I look like. I only went swimming. I only went swimming with my close, my close lady friends, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them windy days, I ain't go out, bro. Bro. You know, I shot it. I, I, got, I told y'all, if y'all, when I hosted somebody, I was like, if y'all put enough emotes in here, I'm going to shoot at her. Yo, my, I'm be honest with y'all, chat. My Tinder is popping. My Tinder is whopping right now, bro. Bro. Nah, that's shit right. You can only go chilling with your with your close family, bro. Bro, my Tinder is popping right now, bro. But we're not going to do another one of those. I'm actually going away. I'm going to Kansas City, bro. Any of y'all from Kansas City or have been in Kansas City, I'm going to Kansas City this week. So I will be going. Uh, I'm going to be at my girl house tomorrow in Ohio. Uh, I can stream. I'm gonna stream some a little bit from there. I don't know if I play any LCQ games because her like her setup kind of bullshit and like it's just weird, chat. You feel me? Like when you get like when you get in a certain comfort zone playing on your TV and then you go somewhere else and try to play, it's just weird. Am I wrong? Skimbo, they're they're, they're removing Eye Tight and Wildcat from the from the game. John Kansas City. King, they're taking out Wildcat and they're taking out Heavy Panther. RG said it. Yeah, exactly. Like when you play on a different TV, I, I'll play Weekend League on it. Plus, I, my stream is just gonna be from the Xbox, but I'll play Weekend League on Thursday. Um, but I will be gone probably till next week. Honestly, next um. Uh, what I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, I'll be going till next show probably. Honestly, so that and I've been having a lot of fun grinding Madden. Probably the most fun I've had uh, playing Madden in a couple years, really. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out. I'm gonna try to figure out the best barbecue in Kansas City. I'll definitely look it up. Shout my man Sieves with the three months, man. Put some hennies out there. I mean, that would work. I can't wait to check out check out Twitter making hope. Yeah, they took out Wildcat. Yeah, they said patch hitches. Oklahoma Joe's. Is that the glitch in KC? Who said they from say KC, bro? Yeah, they taking out Wildcat, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, me, Blue Rub that you say, Oklahoma Joe's. Yeah, I'm gonna find listen. I'm going to find a way to go there, really. Reddit? Reddit? 
A Reddit stream? Oh my god, bro. Nah, not on the podcast. That's definitely a. Uh, my girl coaches uh like AAU volleyball. She got a tournament out there, so I'm going out there kick it with her. We actually, I talked about man. So I wasn't going to go to KC because KC is far as shit from Philly, right? It's far as shit from Ohio. Uh, and I was like, man, I don't want to go to that tournament. I'm chilling. I'm gonna just stay home because I didn't want to buy a flight because I wasn't driving to KC. That's like that's like 24 hours, right? Right? Yeah. All right. All right. G. Now listen. So so I was like, I don't want to go. Right, but one of her, uh, one of my girls, uh, girls that she coaches, her parents are like buku rich, and they have a private jet, and they're like, yo, y'all two can just come on our private jet with us. And at first, that shit was real cool, like I was hyped for it. But now with the Kobe, at the Kobe, bro, I'm like, bro, I don't know what happened on a little ass plane, like that's, I don't know. So we're gonna see what it's like. Uh, I'm be a little bit nervous about it, but we're going to KC for a couple weekends, bro. You know. Westport, I, I'm gonna make a tweet on uh, Twitter. You know, make sure y'all to get all the spots where I need to go for real, for real. Yo, Bob Evans, is, uh, that, Bob Evans is a chain restaurant, bro. Like what? Not, I, I don't go, bro. Let me tell y'all something about me. The IHOPs, the Denny's, where? Uh, what the other bullshits? IHOP, Denny's, Bob Evans, bro. I'm not never going to them shits. Especially out of town. Because out of town, listen, chat. Waffle House. I went to Waffle House one time. The one time I would go to Waffle House out of town is because we don't have it in Philly, right? No, but it's my thing. Okay, if I'm in Philly, okay, I'll, I might fuck around and go to IHOP, right? I might. Like, there's a 1% chance, right? But I might. If I'm out of town, bro, when I'm out of town, I want to see what the hell this city got that I'm, I can't get back at home. That's all. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying Bob, bro. That's my point, JP. I'm never out of town. I'm never going to IHOP. No, Clef, I'll tell you one story about, about Waffle House, bro. We went, because you know I, I cut trees, right? So there was a big hurricane. When was the hurricane down? I forget what it was. It went through like Georgia, Jacksonville, up through there. It was probably two, three. It was probably maybe four years ago now, right? Right, so there was a big ass, a big ass hurricane. So my dad was like, "Yo, let's just go down there with all the chainsaws and the bucket truck and everything and try to find work." Right. So we get down into South Carolina. We drive from Philly to South Carolina, which was probably like twelve. It was a lot of driving, right? Because I, you don't know how big Virginia. Virginia is a big ass state. Like Virginia is big as shit, bro. And the only shit open was Waffle House, but Waffle House wasn't open, but it was open. This is how you know Waffle House is crazy. So we're down there. The hurricane then hit. There's no power in the whole the, the whole city. There's no power. But the Waffle House is open. But there's no lights in the Waffle House. The only thing that's open is the grill. And these motherfuckers are still cooking. And they said, listen, there was so... Yo, they didn't even have... The, they threw out the regular menus. My man had a paper, a piece of paper, and wrote down what he could cook and how much money he wanted for it. But they had the grill popping. That was my Waffle House experience. So when you say the dirtiest Waffle House is the best Waffle House, mine didn't even have electricity. It just had a grill popping. And you could just get eggs. I think it was just like eggs and maybe like bacon or something like that. I forget what it was. Yeah, they, bruh. Hell yeah, but they had that grill working. No lights. I think they had somebody had a lantern. Bro, It was that was a crazy experience, bro. When we went down through the hurricane and everything, bro. Yeah, that joint was nuts, bro, for real. Like, I remember, and then we decided to go home. It's just so much flooding. It was so much water. And, like, I-95 up north got flooded, and we left at, like, 8 p.m. So when we got to this flood on I-95, I mean, it's like the whole, y'all know, 95 is, 95 is, uh, I've been to Roscoe's. See, that's what I'm talking about. When I go, and when I go to L.A., I go to Roscoe's. But what I'm saying is, 95 is the highway from north to south on the east coast. It goes from Florida to Maine. I-95, boom, the big highway. That's how you go from, I'm in South Carolina, I want to go home. So it's probably 10 p.m. at night during the hurricane. We're going back up north 95 to go home. You run into just a flooded 95. So now there's nowhere to go. 
And that's cool. So you get off the highway, you see all the trucks, everybody just waiting for this to get unflooded. Me, I want to go home. I don't want to wait for this shit. So I'm just trying to Google GPS my way out of here. Let me find another road. But because the hurricane, there's no cell phone towers. So cell phones, your cell phone just doesn't work. And we have no idea what life is like when cell phones don't work anymore. That shit is a shit show. Imagine all these cars on the highway can't go anywhere and nobody's cell phone works. Oh my God. It was like you had to look at the map, find your way out. You know, it's like, all right, I'm here. I know I'm here. I know I'm at this street. Literally had to get out, look at the street name on the thing, figure out where you were, what direction was what, and look at the map and try to find your way out. And the worst part was, once you find the road to go up, boom, all of a sudden there's a big ass tree laying in front of that road. Now we got to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't have a map anymore. All you had was your phone. All you had was your phone. Now your phone had no service, but you could still bring up the map. And it was like weird because like the satellite still has service. So you could kind of see, but we, I, Tyler, that's really what, that's really what we used to have. Like when, like before phones used to have, it was a book of maps. Like, cause there were cell phones before there was, yo, there were cell phones before there was like Google maps and shit. I'm talking like 2000, I want to say probably 2008, 2009, shit like that. And then we had like a book. It's like a map. It's not like one of them big ass. It was like a book, a map book, and you go through and see the different pages, really. Because y'all know cell phones were around before before maps, you know? Maps ain't, let's be real, the little Google map, that shit ain't, I used to have, now Vilma knows, I used to have, when I used to go see Vilma in New York, I used to have like a GPS. Like your phone didn't always have GPS. Like your phone was your phone. Yeah, your phone was your phone, and then GPS was, you had to buy a separate GPS, like a little, a little, I forget what the fuck the brand was, you know what I'm saying? Tom Tom, yeah, that was the joint, yo, the Tom Tom, see? Yeah, kid, my pop was always like a map person, like, he always used to read the map all the time, I'm like, bro, why do you do that? But now I feel like I do that too, like, I understand, like, I want to look at the map, I want to kind of know where I'm at. Bruh. Yeah, pulling out a map in a car is crazy. The rest stop? Yeah, Tyler, that's how I do like when I drive to Ohio, because that's where my girl is. I'm going to drive there tomorrow morning. Yeah, when I go, when you got to get out and you see the map, like, damn, I'm right here. Okay. Like, that is crazy, man. If you really think about how the fuck, yeah, like, bro, like, even, like, now at this point, I drove to Ohio probably 10 times more than that. I can get there without even the GPS. That's no big deal. But I can't even imagine, like, okay, W, drive. Drive to Louisville, right? <laughs> Not even Louisville. Like, what's some, like, fuck. Yeah, drive to Louisville. You got no GPS. Like, what? I got to go download and look at the paper? Is this it? Like, GPSs are crazy now. They're like, go in the right lane for 10 feet. Merge over. You'll go this way. GPS probably says, you know, t- take uh, I-70 left. They're like, what the hell? If in a zombie apocalypse, no technology, what man player would have no shot? Wesley might have no shot. Bugs might Bugs might not make it. Yeah, Drenny, bro. Yes. Drenny would be GG's. Bro, Drenny? No, nah, Drenny is out. He's the first one out, bro. Wesley might be able to survive. No, Drenny is definitely the first one out. Because he not winning no fight. Drenny is not beating a zombie. He's not beating a human. He's not beating anybody. Rage and Drenny, bro, imagine this. If we were squads, Rage, Drenny, and Ghost would be together. Bro, they wouldn't last 10 minutes. They would get robbed for everything. Somebody would have Ghost's shoes. Somebody would have Drenny's complexity shirt. They, Rage wouldn't have shit. Rage would be in a, a, a brown a brown bag, bro. Seriously. They had, they were, literally 10 minutes, they'd be gone. They would be gone. See, like What? Yo. They would be out so fast, bro. No, Banks would be glitchy. I'd pick Banks of a month and he'd be glitchy. Volt that bro, Volt's on squad. Volt's definitely surviving, bro. Volt survive. He Volt will find a way. No, I I no, I'm not putting Wesley in that group, bro. I'm not putting Wesley in that group. 
<laughs> yo, Journey's complexity hoodie would definitely be on a, Yo, Wesley, oh, as far as surviving, at least Wesley go outside. Like, I feel like Wesley been in the wilderness. Wesley know what a tree look like. Y'all ever imagine, like, like rage in a park? Or not rage in the woods. Picture that. Woo, no, Woo would survive. Woo, Woo was born in the woods, bro. Oh, yeah, Boog's not surviving. Boog's would be my squad weakest link. We would have to drag, drag him around, bro, for real. He'd be like, no, I don't want to drink the water from the lake. No, no, the water from the lake has parasites. Meanwhile, we'd be in there just drinking the shit out the water. Left for dead. <laughs> yeah, Woo, Woo was born in the woods. He good. User? Yeah, user will fight. Reverse osmosis. Yeah, but yeah, we would have bugs to be the gardener. Like, he definitely would grow hella shit. Boo definitely probably lost his virginity in the woods. Skimbo might not make it either, bro. He start complaining about shit, bro. Yeah, Skimbo would be overthinking the shit out of it. <laughs> he wouldn't listen to nobody, bro. He wouldn't listen to nobody. Yeah, but... But, but uh, you know why Bugs would survive? Because he don't got to eat a lot. Hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My man. Who, who, who wrote this, bro? My man, Luke, hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Let's take a break. Because in the middle of our zombie apocalypse, my man just hit me with the paragraph. I'm 4 and 0 so far in SC and getting mad ladder anxiety in fear of getting L on final placement game. I even warm up in solo battles and try to build some confidence. Sad I know. I think the root of my issues stem from my childhood where I got lots of PSD that mess with my confidence still. So I've been telling myself I need both maxed out Night Train and maxed out Lamar first before getting back into SC. Whom I got I got now as today. So I guess I'm get, get popped soon tonight. Sorry if I made you cringe. You have never seen a vagina ever, bro. Bro, he not getting timed out, but what's my man? Bro, what? Like, bro, what? Cause just get in the game. All-star team up. All right, that's the end of the podcast, bro. We said all-star team up. Bro, yeah, like, bro, so step the fuck in the game, press A, search for a game, and get popped, bro. Everybody gets popped, bro. Like, that ass, everybody gets popped. Put a one in the chat if you've ever been popped. That's all I'm asking. Put a one. Put a one in the chat if you've ever been popped. Because apparently, he think he's the only undefeated ever person ever in, my, ever in the history of life. Like, seriously, he's the most undefeated fucking person. He's the only one that's 4-0. He's afraid to lose. You know what I'm saying? I've been popped. I've been popped, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Everybody been popped, my G. Everybody. I mean, he got to warm up. I mean, I would warm up in the mud head to head, but you know what? Warming up is soul battles. You know what I'm saying? We all been popped. We've been popped. Like my man Proof said. Like my man Proof said. I've been down before. I've been down before. I will tell you this. I I want to kind of feel like I kind of relate to that. When I'm playing really good, I don't be wanting to play. For me, it's like if I win 10 in a row, I'm like, right, I'm cool for the day, right? I feel like that's a good day. I'm cool, right? If I lose, I want to keep chasing this shit. I'm saying I like to end on a high note, if that makes sense. You know, and I feel, I feel like all right, I'm, I won I won eight games, right? I won eight games. Do I want to? I'm feeling a little tired. Do I want to search? Now nah, I'm chilling. That's all. But if I lose, I'll play all night. That's how I'm feeling.
That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I don't know if, like, I'm ever, like, let's let's get it popping. I don't know. Never lost. No, but for real, man. Bro, you cool, Fate? Yo, Fate, get in there and get it popping. Your name is Fate, bro. Is your name Fate Luck Karma? Is that your name? That's what I'm saying, Skino. Yeah, you can't lose the go to sleep game, bro. The go to sleep game, the go to sleep game is the most important game because that's the one that had you thinking all day. Really. But anyway, let me cut this joint, man. This was the Needed Podcast, episode sixty, what sixty seven, sixty seven. Bro, I am 46 followers away from 40,000 followers on Twitch, bro. I doubt there's anybody in here that hasn't hasn't followed, but if y'all do, man. Cringe Poppy. My guy with the sub, man. Appreciate it. It's, it's definitely team over scheme. Boom, there it is, man. We are closing in on 14 or 40,000 followers on Twitch. That's dope. One thing I did realize, like, what's crazy about Twitch and followers is that when I look at all these super streamers, bro, they have, like, fucking million followers, bro. And that's one of the things, like, I, I wish I had more followers on Twitch. I just got to keep grinding, that's all. I am about to go eat dinner. We might pop the stream up in a little bit, but this is the Need a Podcast episode what episode is this? 67, man. So if you guys on YouTube have any ideas how you can improve salary cap, how we get better, you guys saw all the guys in the chat. They had ideas. I had ideas. That's what it's about. It's about community. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about the next guy, bro. So I definitely will holler at y'all later this evening, probably. And if you're on YouTube, bro, follow the Twitch. The link is below. 